What's going on, everyone? Welcome back. I hope everybody's having a great day. Folks, we're going to do a second part to my last moon video. Now, if you think what we caught in the last photo was wild, this will blow it away. What I did this time was two different things. One, I didn't clip it. I'm going to show you what I'm talking about right now. Let's just get right into it because I think you're going to find this wild. And by the way, make sure you have your magnifying glasses and your eyepieces like so. Jeweler's eyepiece. You want that. And again, your magnifier. This is wild. And I'm going to do it a couple different ways so you folks can see it on the smaller devices. We'll zoom in, and then we're going to sharpen it and move out, and you're going to get a better understanding of this photo. But let me show you what they've done on two different photos because this, these are two different photos, like I'm saying. There's one that was taken as like kind of the, almost the same angle, but they use two different ways to filter it. Let's just get right into it. All right, you can see it right here. This is the photo I showed you last time. Now, if you notice, we have this right here. We have the brighter one on the left-hand side in the back. The one I did, we swapped it over. As you can see, the brighter one is on the right rear, okay? Let me show you what they've done in this, though. This is wild. In this photo, well, let me just go back real quick. In this photo, if we zoom into this, let's see what we see. Oh, wait a minute. I see a pretty decent photo, although grainy. Look what they've done here. They want to take something out. It's just dark gray. And you can see just underneath this, I'm just going to go ahead and narrow this down a little bit. It's a little too thick. Right here, you can see white underneath this gray. So they have lighter gray, darker gray, whatever they want to do, and they take out whatever they don't want you to see. So it's basically hiding detail, right? Okay, let me show you something that's pretty wild. We'll go back to this one. Okay, you can see it's bright out. What I did was I view, go to view, and I went into black plating. So we're seeing the raw part of the photo. Okay. Notice I didn't even zoom in. I can see all kinds of artifacts, compression artifacts. You're going to say, why would they do that? Well, that's very simple. By putting these over it, they can put the darker ones, lighter ones, and it will mess with any kind of detail that's in here. Let me tell you why... Uh, this is my opinion as far as this is artificial compression artifacts. Let's zoom into this so-called crater right here. If you notice right here, you can see this crater, supposed crater, is pretty smooth, right, with the dark center, okay? You all can see that right here. I'm going to zoom in a little bit more. If this was compression artifacts, this would not be smooth. You would see it, it's all jagged, and it, so that would not look smooth and oval shaped. It would be, again, basically boxy and compression artifacts. But when you look at it this way, I'm just going to back out a hair bit, it's smooth, yet we have compression artifacts over it. Okay? So that's what's telling me, and in my opinion, this is what they're doing. And I've said this a long time ago these are overlay uh, compression artifacts. Here's a perfect example. Here. Look at these two areas. Well, wait a minute. They're kind of void, really, of any artifacts. And if it is, it's very little. This may just come down to, like this one here, just, you know, low-quality photo and not compression artifacts. See what I mean? It's completely void of these gray squares that surround it. So that's telling me, 100%, as far as I'm concerned, that... They're literally taking out all of the detail. Now, the other way was different. They just kind of uh, can kind of like brushed it out, did different ways of blocking it out. The okay. problem with it is it's literally harder to cut through to get any detail. So we want to try to drag detail through there. Here's what's crazy. Let me do this. Let me show you that same. I'll put it right in the middle of the screen right here. That smooth crater. Again, not choppy at all. But everything above it or over it is actually looks like artifacts. Hmm. That's not the way a photo works. Now, you guys can correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't see that. I see this as an overlay, and I've seen this in many, many moon photos. Okay. Without further ado, let's jump right into this. Again, this time I didn't flip it. I left it just the way you see it here. Okay. Notice right here we have that area. It looked like a road with these two... Areas here that were on top. See that? Look at the other photo. 
it's right here to the right. Now just bring it here to the center. It's the same area right here. See it? Right there on the left. And this is on the right. Okay. And folks, again, get ready to pause it any way you want. Magnify it out in your Jula eyepieces. Okay. So now we're going to do an enhanced black and white. And folks, this is crazy. I'm going to just brighten up at first. There's no way I'm going to be able to go through all of this. So I'm going to go from left to right. Now, folks, I'm going to tell you right now, there's nowhere on the internet you're going to find this many structures in a photo. Nowhere. Gonna go, stop, go, stop type thing. Okay, folks can pause it anywhere you like. And then I'm going to make it a little bit darker. And again, we're going to contend with these artificial compression artifacts, right? You can see it right here. Just block it right out. All of the white under there and in between, those are structures. And they're doing whatever they can to block everything out. Go down here a little bit. This is basically going to be up to you folks. We're just going to view it. I'm going to go from right to left. Absolutely crazy, crazy stuff in here. Every time I look at this thing with a magnifying glass, I see a hundred different other things. Just really, really wild. This one's pretty much a mind blower too. Watch this. Right here. This is just cool. That in that crater alone, check that out. Okay. When I'm docking it. Just this area right here, folks. Look at this. What the hell are all those? Now look at the background. All in the background. I think what we're seeing here, you know, X amount of miles. I don't know the distance. So I couldn't tell you. Okay, I'm going to back out a little bit. There's your overall. Have a look. Pause it anywhere, as usual. Now, let's get into a colored filter and see what this looks like. Okay. Like this is sharpened from a distance. When you get into it, you want to blur it up a bit. And the reason for that is because you're going to make the compression artifact stand out more. We don't want to do that. We want to see more detail if we can. So again, left to right. There are thousands, virtually thousands of structures in this. Is this wannabe crater again? Look at the stuff that's in that. Okay, now let me just back out a little bit. We're going to go ahead and blur it up here, but now we're going to zoom in, okay? And we're going to go from left to right. It's just absolutely mind-blowing what's in this photo. And this is the reason why these astronauts were up on the moon. It's as simple as that. There's no other way around it other than reconnaissance. Because when you see the stuff that's on ego, there's no way that these guys are going up there just for simple dirt, right? Rocks, boulders, whatever. Call it what you will. There's no way. Right to left.
like I said, some of these things that just blow your mind is, you know, what's in these craters. And they're not craters. And I'm glad most of you folks are seeing this. I've had several of you guys say, oh, you know what? I've seen like the top of that crater. Supposedly, it's supposed to be the crater, but it looks like structures underneath it. The awesome. uh, reason why I say that is because they're not craters. They put it over the top to dress it up to make it look like it's a crater. And if you don't get into these photos and break them down, that's exactly what you assume they are. Until you really start to look at it, there's underneath. You can see underneath the structures, other structures or other round circles or squares or what have you. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of it in here. Okay. I just wanted you guys to see this because this is awesome. Like, when I got into this photo, I was just completely blown away. Now, just a little point I'll point out, right? Like this object here. All these little objects down in here. Notice how they did this here. This is crazy. Perfect example. You can see the blood artifacts that they wanted to take out something even more so. And you can see something going like this. Do you see that? Let me take these lines away. I'll even shop it a little bit. Check that out. Are you kidding me? And you can see, again, you can see the square is pretty darn good when you use that magnifier. What we're trying to do is get through all that, okay? I'm just going to back up just a hair bit so it's not too broken up. Check this out. Again, there's too many different shapes in here to believe that this is all compression artifacts. It's clearly not. And if you look carefully, you can see a whole bunch of structures what look like giant pipes, all kinds of weird stuff. Stick Oop, gonna bounce a little bit, but that's all right. That we're shopping it. See how the compression artifacts come out even more. We we want to smooth it out. We don't want it to distort the actual, well, any kind of detail we are getting out of it. But folks, have a look at this right here. Pause it right here. Take out your magnifiers and your eyepieces and have a good look at this. See that? Black and white. A little bit brighter. Folks, I, this is just awesome. I sat there and I looked at this for like a good hour. And the stuff that's in here, there's no way to go go through all of this. It's just, it's impossible. The reason why I'm just kind of doing it like a, like just go over left to right, zoom in a little bit, different filtering. So you folks can take a look at it yourself. Here's a perfect example. And like I said, I'm glad you guys have noticed this right there. See this, you know, it looks like a crater, but what's under it, is what matters. See that? Right there. Just underneath it. Yeah, that's that's not a crater. However, if you look at it this way, we smooth it out. Put all of this white wispy kind of thing and just add it all. And, and then we can use some black in between and we can do some gray and everything. And we can block out all of the details they don't want you to see. But on the other photo, which is basically the same area, they did a different way of filtering, and there's proof of both of them. Like I said, I, this has been going on for some time now as far as the artificial compression artifacts. They'll do that any way to distort a photo, of moon photos and Mars. Okay, I'm going to back out one last time. There's your black and white. Have a look at it. Colored photo or filtered photo with filters on it, colored filters. There you go. Right there. Folks, I've been saying this for a long time. And I questioned, I said, what if we are the giants? Remember they said there was a time when there was a land of the giants kind of thing. What if we're the giants? And what we're seeing up on the moon is not as big of the structures as we would have. 
looking. You can tell it's miles in, in swath. You can just see that. Again, are they as big as something we would have? Now, somebody said, uh, uh, why do you assume that they would have the same, you know, structures or be just like, I never assume that. I always said they're probably different. If you have different gravity, bigger structures, you know, depending on where they came from, what their techniques of building, that the building's made to reflect sunlight. So when you get that solar radiation hitting it, and structures are made in a way to reflect the heat and any kind of radiation. We don't know. It's purely speculation, but you get what I'm saying. Anyway, folks, I'm going to let you ponder on that. Drop your comments down below. Let me know what you think. I'm always interested in what you've got to say. Please like and share the video. It's always appreciated. And don't forget to give the video a thumbs up so that YouTube shares it. And folks, write your comments down below because, like I said, it helps the algorithm. It helps the channel out. And, uh, you know, like I said, we want to grow more and more. So by doing your part, that's what it does. Uh, of course, I do my part. Anyway, folks, thanks for watching. Always appreciated. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.